Hello everyone, welcome to another vlog. As you can see, my background is a little different and that's because I'm in San Francisco and I'm visiting my best friend, Michelle. This is her and she made us the most delicious lunch. Look at this. Good. Oh my God, it looks amazing. And you guys can't even smell it, but it smells amazing. But this is her cutie apartment. Her decoration is so nice. Look at this, it's so beautiful and Look at this. Oh my god, this is too cute. In case you guys didn't know, Michelle and I have been best friends since Western days. We actually met in our second year when I first transferred to Western through Liz and Marga, who you guys have met in a previous vlog. But anyway, Michelle moved here two years ago for work and I haven't seen her since because she moved in the middle of a pandemic. So it's been two years. We are finally reunited. I'm literally gonna hold her so tight. I was telling her that I had plans to cuddle her tonight, but she just told me that she's giving me an air mattress, and I'm like, all right. <laughs> but anyway, time to eat. Okay, I'm so excited. Yay. Hi guys, okay, so we just finished lunch, and in preparation to coming to San Francisco and visiting Michelle, I got all of my packages shipped here. We already have five packages, and they're quite big packages, so we're gonna just unbox everything in front of you guys. Michelle and I are gonna open these, she's gonna open them with me. Some are things I bought, and some are things I got from PR. Actually, I think most of these are things I bought, actually. Oh, oh these no. are the Nike shoes. I like went on Instagram stories to ask people like what you buy in the States that you can't buy in Canada. So this store is called Goat. The prices are really good, and it's pretty much like secondhand or like resale sneaker shoes and stuff. Uh -huh. So these have been used or not? No, they're brand new, but they've been authenticated by Goat. Wow. These look good. These are my first time getting like resale shoes or whatever. These are dunks. They're so nice. They're in size six. How would you style it? They look really good with like jeans or leather pants or even with shorts actually. I feel like this is also like something you would wear. This is also something I bought. I bought a lot of shoes. This one I bought mostly because I forgot runners to Vancouver uh -huh. and I kind of wanted runners when I'm here so I can run in the morning. These are the new balance. You guys have probably seen these. Like everyone has these. Ooh. Have you seen these before? No, I haven't. These are like all over the internet, but like they're apparently super comfortable and very stylish. What and size shoe are you? Six. I'm excited to wear this because I want to run. Oh, there's two more pairs of shoes. Oh my god, so you only bought shoes? Yeah. I think I bought a sweater as well. But I mostly bought to try on for color because shopping in the States is wild. It's like free returns, free shipping, everything. This is a sweater. Yeah, I bought one sweater and two shoes. So this is from And Other Stories, and this is the sweater I bought. Oh, it's cute, I like the color. Right? Like the Even though there's like a heat wave. Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't think you can wear that here right now. <laughs> yeah. Maybe at night. Okay, so this is another sneaker brand that I came across. I really wanted to also try on these shoes. So I bought two different colors. These shoes are apparently, yeah, they're like very classic, very nice. Like, it's cute. Nice. Yeah, and then this one is pretty much the same sneaker, but in a more neutral color. Ooh, I like these ones. They're beige. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, yeah, so I bought both, but I'm probably only just gonna keep one. Yeah, I'm gonna try them both on later. Especially because this black and white one already kind of reminds me of the dunks. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Perfect, okay, next. Who is this? I love opening packages. Uh, okay, I also bought this. <laughs> So really there's only one PR package. Yeah. Everything else I bought. These are where I was like, I bought like a million socks. So I bought a bunch of socks from Ralph Lauren and I also bought oh, right. two hats. <laughs> this is when you ask me like, where do you usually get your socks? And I'm like, I don't know, my mom buys them for me to be <laughs> I literally went ham on purchasing socks. Some were on sale, but I mostly like, like really good quality socks. Mm. Cause I'm so tired of like, for having them written. Yeah, but I think I might return this one because I just got a navy one from Dynamite. Okay, so this next one is from Revolve and I'm excited for this one because I don't have any summer type clothes because I'm going to Toronto right after. But here you go. Do you want to also look into this box with me? Yeah, so you picked all the items in this? Yeah. Wow, what is this? Oh, a it's a cardigan. Yeah, light blue cardigan. Oh, this one is really cute. It's like a shoulder padded top and it just like buttons in the middle. Oh, nice. Yeah. I also bought some bathing suits from here. You can wear those in the... 
and yeah. This is so soft. Feel free to wear anything, by the way. <laughs> I also got a little oh, it's sweater bra. Yeah, I wanted something more spring vibes-ish. A white skirt, I thought this would be essential for more summer vibes right now. I think these two are amazing suits. And then this is the same top as the black one, but in beige. So this one is the same top, but like in the beige color. This is a really cute bathing suit top. Yeah. So all the links will be down below. And I also have a section on my website that literally has all these revolve items that I purchased. So Wait, is this a one piece? Yes. And then, oh, this is going to be a really good summer top. <laughs> That's cute. You can wear that here. Yeah. It's so hot oh, right yeah. now. Oh, these are the bottoms that go with the... Isn't this oh, cute? It's like high waisted. Very cute. Backless. Oh wow! That's so cute. Look at this. Yeah, it's so soft too, the material. Wow. What is on this? It's like this naked woman just like standing in front of people. I don't think anyone's gonna be close enough. To but at least you know, if you are close enough, they're women flashing boys. Yes. Are those shoes? Yes. Okay. White heels. These are so nice. I really like this brand by Revolve. It's called Ray. It's really, really nice. And this one has like a little, oh, that's a cute detail. A little chain. Like, yeah. They're like uh, strappy. Yes. Yeah. Sandals. I picked them for here because I was like, I literally don't have any open toe shoes except for like this one really block heel from Zara that I got. All right. That was pretty much everything for now. <laughs> for now. <laughs> Okay, first stop, obviously, Trader Joe's. I am so excited to go to Trader Joe's. This is my favorite place in the entire world. Should we get flowers for your apartment? Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. Wow. Oh, should I just move to the city? Look at this, everybody. What in the world? Okay, guys, this section is so lit. Like, what? Oh my God, oh my God. Popcorn, her herb and spices. Okay, I'm getting that popcorn one. What? Oh yeah. Is that good? Have you tried Those it? Those are alright. We are riding these bikes for the first time. I feel like I'm a true San Franciscoian. Is that what you guys call yourselves? Okay, we are currently on our way to Dumpling Home. The weather has already turned drastically colder. <laughs> that's, that's that for you. Yeah, and so I also brought another jacket, but I'm wearing long pants now because earlier I was wearing a skirt and now it's already really cold. Well, not really cold. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, but you know, compared to what we were experiencing like five seconds ago. How to look like a tourist. <laughs> we are here. Yay, I'm so excited. Dumpling home. Hi. It's also been two years. And Michelle is here, and we are gonna order some dumplings. First dish is here. Oh my god, hello. Wow. Hello. Whoa. Look at the steam. Damn. There's more. Wow. Do you know you guys can walk on the street on a weekend in a hip neighborhood? You would think this is my first time in the United States of America, but it is not. <laughs> it is multiple times and second time here. This is, what is this again? Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt. Honey. Ice cream. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Oh, look at this goodie. Whoa, it's so good. And it's like healthy. Dairy free. I mean, lactose free. Damn, so good. This is so romantic. What the heck? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> you are so cute. Oh my God. I'm literally obsessed with you. Leisha says we are in Spark Social and in the neighborhood of Mission Bay. Oh my God, it's so cute. You can reserve these? Oh, yeah. Damn. Here's my pleasure. Wow. Wow, this is such a cool vibe. And it's outdoor, so more COVID safe. Wow. And look at all the food. I'm not even hungry, but I can be convinced. There's a pet food truck. You should have brought your cat. 
Okay, we're having a little girls night from some of the goodies we got from Trader Joe's. So the first thing we're gonna try is the herb and spices popcorn. We also got the hickory barbecue potato chips. This is something that my friend Chelsea actually recommended and changed my life. These are almond butter cups. And then there's also almond chocolate chip cookies. We're also having this wine. It's actually amazing. Fun fact, Michelle learned about this wine from a date with a guy. The guy didn't last, but this wine did. Okay. <laughs> she said to read the description, so I'm gonna read it. Hold on. What does it say? Lose yourself in the sensual pleasures of silk. Let the exotic fragrance arouse your senses while succulent cherry and ripe raspberry flavors softly caress your palate damn that is very sexual i'm going to be performing an erotica reading um, of this wine bottle in a more sultry voice okay here goes <clears throat> love yourself in the sensual pleasures of silk let the exotic fragrance arouse your senses while succulent cherry and ripe raspberry flavors softly caress I feel like if we had Teresa's voice and read this, oh. it would be a lot better, but my raspy voice just like ain't the vibe, you know? Oh my God. This is so nice. God, I want to do this. Hello, everyone. Happy Saturday. It's the second day in San Francisco, and we are at the Golden Gate Bridge. It's so nice here. You want to say hi? Hello. <laughs> hi, Presley. It is so nice. I could live here. I definitely feel welcomed. like a carnival. This like kind of gives me P and U vibe. Clam chowder. Yum! Look at this. We're at Chowders and we got some clam strips and clam chowder and some beer. That looks so good. On our way. Oh my god, this lineup of vintage cars is so nice. Okay, we are in Santana Row. It's so cute here. This is so cute. The great thing is that they like love being filmed. They're out to be seen, you know? Yeah. Well, you're welcome. I did film you. Oh my god, that's so nice. Oh, we have vintage cars again. Oh, I cannot wait to have coffee. <gasps> There's a Brandy Melville. All right, we are at Chica. Yay, first dish. Okay, pork belly tacos. Hello everyone, happy, what day is it today? Happy Sunday, and today is my first full day in San Jose. We are going to be visiting the J. Lore Winery. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's so bright right now. If you guys didn't know, J. Lore is one of my favorite, favorite wines, and we are currently going to be doing a wine tasting here. I'm so excited. Welcome to J. Lore. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Hi. Hi. Cheers. This is the Pinot Blanc. Oh, can you even see the sign? Yeah. This is their Pinot Noir. And you want them to get high up on the sides. And then as you can see, there's not very many tannins. 
So if the wine stays on the side of the glass and you see them streaming down, yeah, then that means there's a lot of tins in the wine. What does that mean? I have no idea. <laughs> I think it makes it more thicker and, and more okay. heavy. So this might, would probably be a light red wine. However, I might have made that all up. People have just told me that. <laughs> Cheers. Very light. Yeah, I like this. I think I like something a little bit stronger. This was lighter than the white we tried. Mm -hmm. Next, we have the Syrah, right? It's already been aerated, right? Because she like used an aerator to pour it. It's been aerated because it's been open a bit. That's more just a portion for... Oh, gotcha. Cheers. What was this again? This is the Capsa. Okay. Shot well. Yay, I am pretty convinced this is the one I'm gonna buy for everybody, but I'm gonna see. Cheers! Ooh, I like it. I don't know if it's because we've had light wines up until now, but this one tastes like really strong. Yeah, it's an aggressive one. Yeah. This is the last wine. Cheers! Our bonus wine. What was it again? A palm Merlot. Okay. Cheers. Oh, I like that. It's really good. Wow. Okay, hi guys. So we are back and we are getting ready for the Super Bowl. This is my first time watching the Super Bowl and I'm also watching it in America. So I'm basically American. Anyway, point is we got a bunch of food for the Super Bowl, including some veggie spring rolls. Actually, I don't know why I said we, I did not pick up any of this stuff. Curtis did panko shrimp calamari we even have a charcuterie board we've got some chicken wings there's literally only two of us and we're just like going ham and of course i got these almond butter cups again for him to try and also we got some fig jam i think in trader joe's they call it fig butter but i'm really really excited also after we came back from the j lore wine tour they also gave us a j lore corkscrew because i asked them if they shipped bottles to canada i really wanted to ship a bottle to live my editor and also to my manager who introduced me to j -Lore. They didn't ship to Canada and then afterwards I asked her if she has a gift shop which she didn't so she like ended up just giving us each a wine opener and it's really really nice but you know I just really wanted to ship the bottles out. Anyway I am currently getting ready and I'm so excited to watch my very first Super Bowl game. I feel so American.